Today I'll be designing a light show in SoundSwitch and I'll be putting it up against SoundSwitch's auto scripting engine. And as an added bonus criteria, I'll only be using both lighting fixtures. I'll be using four mini pars as blinders slash washes, two moving spots, two moving head washes, and four 360 pixel tubes. And I'll have links in the description below so you can check out those fixtures. And let me clear up a common misconception with SoundSwitch. You do not need to manually create complicated light shows for each song in your library. You do not need to pre-analyze your entire library before you can start using SoundSwitch and getting immense benefit from it. By default, SoundSwitch uses auto loops, but that's a different video for a different day. But I just want to really quickly go over like my setup and just show how easy it is to auto script a song. So first things first, you need to patch in your lights. So I have my pars, my moving spots, my moving washes, and my four pixel tubes. My pixel tubes, I'm using 80 channel mode. And then when you patch these lights, you have the ability to assign categories to them through this drop down. And these categories pretty much tell the auto scripting engine how you want the auto scripting engine to treat this light. Do you want it to be treated like a wash or a strobe? And if you have like multiple sets of these lights, you can choose like primary, secondary, and tertiary so that it will do different things for those groups of lights. So my four pars, they're just gonna be wash primary. My pixel tubes are gonna be multi-cell primary. That's so that the engine knows to put pixel mapping style effects for my 360 Titan tubes. Two different kinds of movers. So we'll have the spots be primary and the washes be secondary. So when you have that all set up, you can look at your music's folders right here. So you can auto script the entire folder if you want, but we wanna put a little bit more detail into the song today. So I'm just choosing like this remix of this is what you came for, a little bit more upbeat. As you can see, I've already ran the auto scripting engine on this song and auto script is as easy as the click of a single button. You just click on this auto button and then this menu pops up. And I guess it's two buttons. You can just click auto and it will create a light show for you. Ta-da! So you can see here it applied some colors and some intensities on the master track as well as the individual tracks. And with this drop down, you can choose like various presets and you can like play around with these as well. And they also have some advanced parameters if you want to control things like the color scheme, like the intensity, um, the positions of your movers as well as various attribute cues and attribute cues control certain things like the gobo your movers are using so for today's demo i really didn't do much i just did auto scripting i didn't play around with it a lot but when you auto script something you can use the new phrase editing features and i have an entire video on that so Check that out if you want to know more about phrase editing. But when you run auto scripting, the engine will analyze the song and try to assign like a different section for it, like a chorus, a verse, a break, an intro. And it's pretty good, it's pretty accurate. But what I really like is that you don't have to depend on that. You can like tweak it if you so choose. So this song is pretty upbeat and it thought the whole thing was basically a chorus. So I did change that to assign some like verses, but that's basically all the tweaking I did. And when I say manual scripting, it's basically you just go through the song and you assign these color values and these intensity values by hand. Like I said, not a tutorial. We're just breezing through this stuff. But it is so cool that you can put a lot of attention to detail for a particular song. And all you have to do to play your custom time-coded song is just play it in your DJ software and it will replicate it perfectly every time. In fact, filming this video was super easy. I just set up my camera at three different angles and just played the song three times and that was all there was to it. I didn't have to like do a light performance three different times and make sure that they were exactly the same. All right, that's enough talking. Let's get to the light show. Let's start off with my manual script. Baby, this is what you came for. Lightning strikes every time she moves and everybody's watching her but she's looking at cute
you came for Lightning strikes every time she moves And everybody's watching her But she's looking at you Ooh, ooh, 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 you ideas every time I sit down and create a light show, especially when there's no audience impact to consider. Just, I mean, you guys are my audience, so I appreciate you watching. But something I've been thinking about lately is that maybe I have too many lights on at the same time during my chases for these manually scripted songs, and it kind of takes away from the impact of the chases that I do implement. So I basically wanted to just have like one light group on at a time. And I think that works if you have a lot of light groups to like illuminate the area. But I'm using so few fixtures that I feel like when I only use my pixel tubes, for instance, it makes the entire stage feel kind of empty. So I think if I had like more of the same light fixtures, I think it would have had a bigger impact and I think it would have worked out better. I knew for a long time that I wanted to make this video, but I waited until the last minute to actually do it, so it was too late to actually redo it. Probably some of you are wondering how long it took me to do this manual light show. It took me about a couple hours, and I wish I could remember the preset I used for the auto scripting, but I can't remember. I did not tweak it much, I just used the defaults. And that's a really cool part of like automation, like with this auto scripting. You can, at the push of a button, you can change up the light show. And if you don't like it, you just push another button and try something different. So it saves time. And I remember when I first tried the auto scripting engine, and let's just say that it's come a long way. And I am genuinely impressed with the output it made. It was really cool. It matched the energy of the song and it was super simple to implement and yeah, I love it. So what are your thoughts? Who won this round? Was it my light show? Was it the SoundSwitch auto scripting engine? Let me know your thoughts down below and please smash like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.